is our next speaker is from hailing from a Special Olympics Maryland, uh, Adam Hayes, 36 year old man who has competed for 25 years uh, in Special Olympics and currently competes in five sports. Cycling and soccer are his favorite. He also is an athlete leader taking on roles such as the current Special Olympics Maryland Athlete Leadership Council Chair, former law enforcement torture and ambassador and co-creator of an athlete led media team, Maryland Media in Motion. He currently is employed at Special Olympics Maryland as a digital and multimedia coordinator in the athlete leadership department. A memorable moment for Adam was standing on the Acropolis in Athens, Greece, where he helped carry the flame of hope before departing as a final leg torchbearer for the 2011 Special Olympics World Summer Games in Greece. In his off time, Adam rides his bike over 1,500 miles a year, and in 2020, really raised his game and rode 2,025 miles around the area. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Adam Hayes. Thanks, Jason. Good evening. Before I begin, let me pose this question to you. Have you ever wondered uh, what our future is going to be like? I mean, far future. Think uh, the Jetsons. With all the technology and advancements that have been made in the last 50 years, it has me dreaming of things that can uh, help myself and others like me move through life, eating and overcoming disability. Astrophysicists and planetary scientists Neil deGrasse Tyson said it best. Dreams about the future are always filled with gadgets. Here are some ideas I think would help people with intellectual disabilities strive like me if uh, we had uh, these items in uh, the future. Let's start out with, uh, with uh, something simple. This is a cool idea I got from the popular movie trilogy, Back to the Future. I have two extremely different sized feet, 14 on the left and 11 on the right. It makes it really difficult to find shoes. So this is where I thought, how about a shoe that will automatically fit your foot as soon as you put it on? it would eliminate the need to one, tie your shoes, and two, find a shoe that fits your feet. Speaking of feet, rather than walking, how about getting around town or traveling to a faraway job? Transportation is extremely tough for a lot of people with intellectual disabilities. For some, they may not have access to a car, Relying on public transportation or other family and friends uh, to get around. I live 60 miles away from, um, from my job and usually need help from uh, people I know to get me back and forth because I can't drive on the highways. So this is where I thought, ever wish you could uh, instantly get from place to place, no car need it maybe a teleport device, one like you see in Star Trek. It might tingle, but it would be a really cool way uh, that would help get to a job, get groceries, visit family and friends, and much more. Speaking of groceries, cooking can be a, a challenge for anyone, uh, but wouldn't it be cool if we had a robot like you see in, uh, in the Robin Williams movie, Bicentennial Man. They can uh, be your friend to comfort you, help you cook, and much more. That's slowly becoming a reality, even now. But I can't wait for the day that someone more bionic than me can help uh, teach me how to cook outside of my own parents. Speaking of bionic, did you know I could pass as a $6 million man? Sometimes even more than that. I mean, I mean that literally with all the technology that has been put in, in me. I have a condition uh, that ancient Greeks called 
water on the brain. But in the future, we call it hydrocephalus. So how does that make me, uh, me uh, Special Olympics coolest humanoid robot? I have three shunts in my body, tubing draining uh, the fluid uh, from my brain to my stomach, averaging 45 feet between all the tubing in me. Medical advancements uh, have come a long way since uh, 2,500 years uh, ago, since the days of uh, Hippocrates, the father of medicine. Now, you can even talk to your own doctors through video conferencing applications and get a diagnosis or advice right on the screen. By the way, with apps on your phone, there should be something to help uh, your memory. No, I'm not just talking about uh, dictionaries or games that help improve memory function, but an app that can help you remember words uh, you lose in conversation right on your phone. Imagine uh, an app uh, that could uh, instantly suggest an idea of words as it listens to you while you're, you're talking. When you get lost in what you uh, were talking about mid-conversation. And then boom, it gives you uh, a couple of words you were trying to think of. I have this problem a lot and it gets extremely frustrating. And that would be an amazing thing to have. There are so many uh, different uh, ideas that could be used to help uh, make life easier for people with intellectual disabilities. With these tech, ha with these tech hacks, uh, people with disabilities uh, can uh, bring, a, uh, bring a world of inclusion for everyone. It will help uh, everyone achieve and show uh, the opportunity we dream of having can be achieved. All of this uh, through future technology and applications that can help people like you or me. Accessible technology and services are important for people with intellectual disabilities. Dreams like these can help us achieve more and, can, and be contributing members of society. So here's my call out to all the inventors out there. Where are you at, Elon Musk? Whenever you uh, think of uh, something revolutionary, don't forget about uh, those with intellectual and physical disabilities. When you include us in your thinking, you are making a world where opportunity is not limited by disability, where everyone is together in this inclusion revolution, where no one is left behind just because of who they are where life hacks are used to move us in the future of greatness together. Thank you.